In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use an Arduino Uno to create a simple output and light up an LED. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a press button to serve as a simple input to cause an effect that is to light up the onboard LED of the Arduino Uno. To complete this tutorial, you're going to need an Arduino Uno, a USB cable to connect it to a computer, a breadboard, a pull down resistor, in this case I have a 10,000 ohm resistor, a push button, and finally some wires to bring it all together. Let's go ahead and get this all wired up. First connect 5 volt to one side of the button. Connect the 10,000 ohm resistor to ground and the other side of the button. Digital 8 should be connected to the same side of the button as the resistor. Now what's going to happen as you press the push button is the current will split off to digital 8 as well as to ground, represented by I sig and IR here. Using the formula V equals IR, we could calculate how much IR is going to be. In this case, 5 volts at 10,000 ohms is only a half milliamp of current, which is well below the maximum limit of 40 milliamps. Now that this has been wired up, plug in the Arduino Uno into your computer. So now we're going to have to write some code such that we can uh, read that button press whenever it happens on the Uno. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create an integer value, and that integer value is going to be called button pin. And as you can probably guess, it's going to be 8 since that is the pin our Arduino Uno the button is connected to. We're also going to want to create a value here called LED pin and set that to be 13 since that is the pin that the onboard LED is connected to. As well, we're going to want to create a Boolean value here called button press, and this is going to be a value that holds whether or not we have actually pressed that button. Similarly to before, in the setup function here, we're going to want to set up our pins uh, to be inputs and outputs. So in this case, our LED pin is going to be an output just like before, and you can probably guess it, our button pin is going to be an input. Now in our main loop, what we're going to want to do is update that value called button press, and that is going to be updated with a digital read of the button pin. So we're going to read that pin, and if it's 5 volts, then we get a true. If it's 0 volts, we get a false. So knowing that, if we create an if statement here, we'll reevaluate that condition, uh, the button press, to be true or false. If it is true, we're going to want to digital write that LED pin to be high. And we're going to want to leave it on for one second, let's say. Otherwise, if button press is false, well, in that case, we're going to want to digital write our LED pin to be low. Let's give this a save. I'm going to call it Tutorial 3. And then we're going to upload this to our Arduino Uno. Alright, now that it's been uploaded, we see that the LED here is currently off, but when I press the button, it turns on. Well, it's a little hard to see with all the cables in the way. And there. So now you can see the LED comes on and off depending on when I press the button. And if I press and move my finger away, we say that it stays on for one second. So there you have it, simple input into an Arduino Uno using a push button. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.